Hey guys, welcome back. Now today's video is very near and dear to me. That's because today we'll be going back in time to 1992 to check out one of my favorite toy lines. As you can already tell, we'll be reviewing Apocalypse and Iceman from the X-Men toy line by Toy Biz. Oh boy, just looking at these toys brings back so many childhood memories. <sighs> I'm getting old. All right, enough of that, let's get to it. Let's start off with Apocalypse. Now the reason why I chose to review Apocalypse and Iceman is because as a kid, I could never find these two in stores for some reason. So I figured it would make an interesting video to do now since I was finally able to track them down. I just absolutely love the artwork that's printed on the cardboard. Believe me, I was so tempted to just leave these two unopened. Before I forget, I would like to note this is actually the second edition of Apocalypse. And here's the back. You know, I would always dream about what characters I wanted to get next while browsing through the back cover. Hmm, I wonder if that customer service number still works. Wow, can you believe the original owner bought this at a Kmart for $4.94? Alright, let's open this thing up. Oh man, I really don't want to ruin the artwork. Careful. Careful. I can't believe the glue still holds after all these years. Well, so much for the artwork. What a waste. One thing I loved about the X-Men toys was that each one would come with a trading card. As a kid in the 90s, this was like getting two toys in one. You got the action figure, and you also got a card to go with it. Let's finally see why I've been missing out all these years. Comes with a couple of extra arm pieces. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And we've got some cables, I guess. Let's check this out. Well, I will say this right off the bat, the detail is very nice on this. Color still holds up, nothing here looks faded or washed out. There's good articulation in the legs. Although I am a little disappointed you can't bend the elbows. At least the head moves. Now let's try on some of those arm attachments. That was easy. Let's try on this harpoon looking thing. This lever moves it in and out.
one thing I forgot to point out earlier. He doesn't have those holes on the bottom of his feet. For example, if I wanted to like put him on a stand or something. Okay, let's try the other arm. got some sort of claw action going on here. Let's see what he can grab with this. Now let's put his cable attachments on. go. Now he's complete. You know what? I think he looks better like this. Okay. Next up is Iceman. Would you believe someone online wanted 30 bucks for this? Thank goodness I got mine for seven. Again, I cannot stress how much I love the artwork on the front. Let's see if I can keep the artwork intact this time. idea who this is, but it looks cool though. Alright, let's check this out. Let's check out his ice slide real quick. I mean, it's nothing special. It's basically what you'll be placing him on. You know what? I really like this. Really does look like he's made out of ice. One complaint is that he's very sticky. There's some weird residue on him. Imagine being wrapped in scotch tape and have it removed suddenly. I mean, it's nothing you can't get rid of with some glass cleaner and paper towels. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Elbows and knees both bend. Although the head just barely moves. But overall, there's good articulation for those who like to put their action figures in specific poses. Let's see what he looks like on his ice board. Does anyone here think he looks like the Silver Surfer?
All right, there you have it. Many of you kids might not know about the X-Men Toy Biz line, but for those older guys and girls, you know exactly where I'm coming from. These toys practically made up my childhood. Now I've seen toys similar to this being released today, but the quality is nowhere near the Toy Biz line. These toys were so ahead of their time. Now maybe it's nostalgia speaking, maybe I'm just getting old, but I will say this, they don't make action figure toys like they used to. Plus, each one comes with a trading card. What more could you ask for? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this nostalgic toy review. Please leave a like, it really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you're so inclined. See you in the next toy video.